The RIM-66 Standard Mister is a medium-range surface-to-air missile originally developed for the United States Navy. The SM-1 was developed as a replacement for the RIM-2 Terrier and RIM-24 Tartar that were deployed in the 1950s on a variety of USN ships. The RIM-67 Standard is an extended-range version of this missile with a solid rocket booster stage. Description the Standard Missile Program was started in 1963 to produce a family of missiles to replace existing guided missiles used by the Terrier, Talos, and Tata guided missile launch systems. The intention was to produce a new generation of guided missiles that could be retrofit to existing guided missile systems. Equals Standard Missile 1 equals the RIM-66A is the medium-ranged version of the standard missile and was initially developed as a replacement for the earlier RIM-24C as part of the Mk-74 Tata guided missile fire control system. It used the same fuselage as the earlier Tata missile, for easier use with existing launches and magazines for that system. The RIM-66 Ares per bite while looking like the earlier RIM-24C on the exterior is a different missile internally with redesigned electronics and a more reliable homing system and fuse that make it more capable than its predecessor. The RIM-66 Ares per bite standard MISTER was used during the Vietnam War. The only remaining version of the standard missile one in service is the RIM-66C. While no longer in service with the USN, the RIM-66E is still in service with many navies globally and is expected to remain in service until 2020. Equals Standard Missile 2 equals, the RIM-66CD Standard Mister, was developed in the 1970s and was a key part of the Aegis combat system and new threat upgrade. The SM-2 Mister introduced inertial and command mid-course guidance. The missile's autopilot is programmed to fly the most efficient path to the target and can receive course corrections from the ground. Target illumination for semi-active homing is needed only for a few seconds in the terminal phase of the interception. This capability enables the Aegis combat system and new threat upgrade equipped vessels to time share illumination radars, greatly increasing the number of targets that can be engaged in quick succession. MK-41 BLS adopts modular design concept, which result in different versions that vary in size and weight. The length comes in three sizes, 209 in for the self-defense version, 266 in for the tactical version, and 303 in for the strike version. The empty weight for an 8-cell module is 26,800 pounds for the self-defense version, 29,800 pounds for the tactical version, and £32,000 for the strike version. In the middle 1980s, the SM-2 Mister was deployed via MK-41 vertical launch system aboard USS Bunker Hill, the first U.S. Navy ship to deploy a vertical launcher. VLS has, since 2003, been the only launcher used for the standard missile in the U.S. Navy aboard Ticonderoga-class cruisers and Isle Burke-class destroyers. The United States Navy is committed to keeping the standard missile to medium range viable until 2035. The SM-1 and SM-2 are continuously upgraded through blocks. The standard can also be used against ships either at line of sight range using its semi-active homing mode, or over the horizon using inertial guidance and terminal infrared homing. Contractors Standard missiles were constructed by General Dynamics Promenade Division until 1992, when it became part of the Hughes Missile Systems Company. Hughes formed a joint venture with Raytheon called Standard Missile Company. Hughes Missile Systems was eventually sold to Raytheon making it the sole contractor. Operational history, the Standard Missile 1 became operational in 1968. The missile was utilized by ships equipped with a Tata guided missile fire control system. The missile saw its first combat use in the early 1970s in the Vietnam War. The standard missile too became operational in the late 1970s and was deployed operationally with the Aegis combat system in 1983. Both standard 1 and 2 were used against both surface and air targets during Operation Praying Mantis. On July 3, 1988, USS Vinson's mistakenly shot down Iran Air Flight 655, an Airbus A300B2, 
using two SM-2 Mr. missiles from her Ford launcher. In 1988 the Iranian Gammon class missile boat Joshin was disabled by RIM-66 standard missiles during Operation Praying Mantis. Deployment history the standard missile is designated by blocks depending upon their technological package. Equals SM-1 medium-range block II-4, RIM-66 Ares equals, the first standard missiles entered service in the USN in 1967. Blocks I, II, and III were preliminary versions. Block IV was the production version. This missile was a replacement for the earlier RIM-24C Tartar missile. Equals SM-1 medium-range block V, RIM-66 bytes equals, the RIM-66B introduced changes that resulted in higher reliability. A new faster reacting autopilot, a more powerful dual-thrust rocket motor, and a new warhead were added. Many RIM-66A missiles were remanufactured into RIM-66B. Equals SM-1 medium-range blocks VIVIB. RIM-66E equals, the RIM-66E was the last version of the standard missile 1 medium range. This version entered service in 1983 with the United States Navy and export customers. The RIM-66E was used by all remaining Tata vessels that were not modified to use the new threat upgrade and Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates which controlled it with the MK-92 fire control system. Production of this missile ended in 1987. The missile was retired from USN service in 2003. However there are a large number of this model in service abroad and it is expected to remain viable until 2020. Equals SM-2 medium range block I, RIM-66CD equals, the RIM-66C was the first version of the standard missile to the missile became operational in 1978 with the Aegis combat system fitted to the Ticonderoga class cruiser. The RIM-66D was the SM-2 medium-range block I version for the new threat upgrade. The SM-2 incorporates a new autopilot giving it inertial guidance in all phases of flight except for the terminal intercept where semi-active radar homing is still used. This version is no longer in service. Remaining missiles have either been remanufactured into later models or have been put in storage. Equals SM-2 medium range block 2, RIM-66 gigajoules equals, the block 2 missile was introduced in 1983 with a new rocket motor for longer range and a new warhead. The RIM-66G is for the Aegis combat system and the Mk-26 missile launcher. The RIM-66H is for Aegis and the Mk-41 vertical launcher. The RIM-66J is the version for the new threat upgrade. Block II missiles are no longer manufactured, and have been withdrawn from service. The remainder have either been put in storage, scrapped for spare parts, or remanufactured into later models. Equals SM-2 medium range block IIIIB, RIM-66 km equals, the RIM-66M is the version of the standard missile 2 medium range currently in service with the USN aboard Ticonderoga class cruisers and Isle Burke class destroyers. The missile is specifically designed for the Aegis combat system and the Mk-41 vertical launch system. The Block 3 missiles differ from earlier blocks by the addition of the Mk-45 MOD-9 target detecting device, for improved performance against low altitude targets. The Block III beam missile additionally has a dual semi-active infrared seeker for terminal homing. The dual seeker is intended for use in high ECM environments, against targets over the horizon or with a small radar cross-section. The seeker was originally developed for the cancelled AIM-7 Sparrow air-to-air missile. All USN Block III and IIIA missiles are to be upgraded to Block IIIB. Block IIIA missiles are operated by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force on its Conga class and Artigo class Aegis destroyers. Aegis equipped vessels in the Spanish and South Korean navies use it as well. The Dutch and German navies have added it to the anti-air warfare system, which uses the Thales needle and active phased array radar and smart L radar. South Korean KDXII destroyers use the Block IIIA with a new threat upgrade compatible guided missile fire control system. Block 3 variants for Aegis and arm launchers are designated RIM-66L. 
Block 3 missiles for new threat upgrade systems are designated or IM-66K. Block III beam missiles were not produced for the new threat upgrade. Blocks IIIA and IIIB are the current production versions. The Thales Needle and STIR 1.8 and 2.4 fire control systems are also supported. Equals deployment equals. In the U.S. Navy, RIM-66 standard was deployed on ships of the following classes, replacing RIM-24 Tartar and some cases, Charles F. Adams class destroyer, Albany class cruiser, Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate, Kidd class destroyer, California class cruiser, Virginia class cruiser. Ticonderoga class cruiser, Arleigh Burke class destroyer, RIM-66 has also been widely exported and is in service in other navies worldwide. Surface-to-air variants, table sources, reference material. Land attack standard missile, the RGM-165 LASM, also given the designation SM-4, was intended as means to give long-range precision fires in support of the U.S. Marine Corps. Intended as an adaptation of the RIM-66, it retained the original MK-125 warhead and MK-104 rocket motor, with the radar seeker replaced by GPS INS guidance. While test fired in 1997 using three modified RIM-66 KSM-2 Mr. Block III missiles, with 800 missiles set for replacement and IOC expected for 2003-2004, it was cancelled in 2002 due to limited capabilities against mobile or hardened targets. Operators equals Current operators equals Australia, Royal Australian Navy, board Adelaide class frigates and Hobart class destroyers, Canada, Royal Canadian Navy, board Iroquois class destroyers, Chile, Chilean Navy, Denmark, Royal Danish Navy, France, French Navy, Egypt, Egyptian Navy. Germany, German Navy, Iran, Islamic Republic of Iran Navy, Italy, Italian Navy, Japan, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, Netherlands, Royal Netherlands Navy, Poland, Polish Navy, South Korea, Republic of Korea Navy, Spain, Spanish Navy, Taiwan, ROC Navy, Turkey, Turkish Navy, United States. Equals former operators equals, Greece. Hellenic Navy. See also, Aegis Combat System, AGM-78 Standard Arm, MK-74 Tata Guided Missile Fire Control System, MK-92 Guided Missile Fire Control System, New Threat Upgrade, RIM-2 Terrier, RIM-8 Talos, RIM-24 Tata, Predecessor, RIM-67 Standard Extended Range, RIM-156 Standard SM-2 ER Block 4. RIM-161 Standard SM-3, RIM-174 Standard SM-6 Extended Range Active Missile. References External links, Raytheon Standard Missile Website, MFR of Standard Missiles, Navy Fact File, Standard Missile 2, NAVAIR Warfighters Encyclopedia, Standard Missile, Designation Systems.net RIM-66, FAS, SM-2. Globalsecurity.org, SM2.